Yo, guys, I have terrible news. My comp has been cancelled. In fact, all comps have been cancelled. And oh yeah, Corona is destroying humanity. It makes me so mad. I want to punch something now. <gasps> Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you. I shouldn't have hit the llama. Okay guys, in all seriousness, you may have heard, or at least you should have heard, the WCA has cancelled all competitions because of the coronavirus. And normally I would break the world record tomorrow, but I guess that has to wait a bit. Belgium is in total lockdown right now. No more toilet paper, no more face masks. Yeah, I had to photoshop that thumbnail. It's tough times, it's tough times. So a lot of us are at home right now because of lockdown. Quarant quarantine? Quarantine? Quarantine. Or just to protect people around you and that's really smart, stay home. And of course we're going to use this time home to cube. Now according to my Instagram, a lot of people will spend more time cubing because of the coronavirus and that's good, I think. But instead of just spamming souls these coming days, let's really use this time to learn something new. Let's do it together. Let me know in the comments what you will work on. For example, you can leave me a comment like, yo Cubehead, your channel is amazing. You're the best. Your alpaca is pretty dumb though. I've been wanting to finish OLL for over a year now. So I will spend an hour a day learning new Alex starting today. Peace. But it doesn't need to be Alex. You can also work on your look ahead, your F2L, or even learn an event you've never done before. Whatever you want to learn or work on, let me know in the comments and I will talk about some of them in the next episode of Road to World Record. Just so that we can try to make most of our time in lockdown, if that makes sense. I'm really looking forward to see what your guys will be working on. Now for myself, since this is the 2x2 Road to World Record, I will use my time to learn EG2. Something I really wasn't planning to learn anytime soon. Quickly, for those who haven't been following the series or just don't remember how solving a 2x2 goes, if you create a solved layer and then solve the cube in one algorithm, you use an alg set called CLL. If you create a layer with a J perm on the bottom, you hold the bar in the back and use EG1. And if you create a layer with a Y perm on the bottom, you use EG2. Each alg set has 42 algorithms and if you know all of them, you know full EG. Most people just learn CLL. If you want to get better, you will add EG1 and only the real Gs learn EG2. Anyways, let's continue. I'll keep my progress up to date on my Instagram, so thank you for following me. So let's talk about this now. Actually, I'm pretty sad that the competition got cancelled because I was feeling really confident with 2x2 actually. Now, I've been solving a bit less last few days because I knew the comp was cancelled and I just spent my time crying instead. But I made great progress over the last few weeks. Let me talk about my progress while showing this average of 12. So I used most of my time practicing one looking and it has paid off so much. Really, it has shown me just how important one looking is to get fast at 2x2. So when I can one look a solve, my times are usually in the low 2 seconds. Fortunately, I can already one look about 80% of my solves, maybe a bit less. And because of this, my times dropped with more than half a second compared to previous episode, where I was just averaging below 3 seconds. Right now, I average I think around two and a half seconds, which ties the national record I'm about to break really soon. There is a catch though. I can one loop most of my souls, but I do go over my inspection time quite a lot. And that's definitely something I'm working on. I mean, if the face takes more than four moves, let's say, there's a relative high chance that I would need more than 15 seconds. But that's totally fine for now. My inspection time has dropped so much compared to when I started practicing one looking. So I'm pretty sure if I keep doing this for a few more weeks that I can comfortably look within 15 seconds. Unless the face takes like six moves or so, but anyways. Um, I also noticed that some cases are harder to one look than others. I think that soon and L cases are more difficult to one look, so those take a bit longer on average. But anyways, I've gotten way more comfortable using EG1 and that also makes sense because if you know CLL and EG1, there's a higher chance that you can make an easy EG1 phase than a CLL layer, so you will be using EG1 more than CLL. My AUF in using CLL has become pretty much flawless, so that's an improvement. But my AUF using EG1 is a disaster at the moment. Hold up guys, this last solve is pretty dope, just look at it. BAM! 69! 
Anyways, let's continue. One last thing I want to mention is anti-CLL. Now, I'm pretty decent at using anti-CLL, but I have found that even if I can perfectly one look an anti-CLL, my solutions can sometimes be really long and kind of awkward even. Oh, a fun fact. Actually, I used an anti-CLL in my competition. And I actually, that was the day after I learned how to do anti-CLL with the soon cases. So I'm actually really happy that I did learn anti-CLL. And sometimes my solutions can be really fast, but I'm really happy that I decided to learn EG2 because then I will know at least that my solutions are optimal and you know, I will know full EG, which is really cool. I didn't expect to learn full EG when I started this series. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. And to be honest, what else would I be doing, right? Quickly, if you're curious to know how I practiced one looking, I initially started by doing CLL scrambles on CS timer, plus a tree mover, for example, R U R prime and of course not looking at the cube while scrambling and then I would try to predict the CLL basically one looking the solve and if I succeeded I would go to the next CLL scramble and do the same three moves again until the point that I'm really good at one looking the three moves and then I would try a different three mover for example R U prime R prime a lot of times you actually set up the tree move yourself during souls. So it will be easier to one loop those as well. So I've practiced around eight tree movers using this technique and a few four movers as well. But I'm definitely planning to do a lot more like this in the next few weeks. You know, I will share all the cases that I practiced next episode if you want me to the thing i did as well to practice the speed of my one looking is trying to one look two easy solutions within the inspection time for example if you do r u r prime you're set up with this corner and you can easily insert this corner in different ways so what i would do is try to find two solutions and then choose the one with the best cll case i found that this really helps me to get faster at one looking so that's what i will do for one looking uh one last thing i'll do is practice using stagmat timer because i try to use a stagmat timer as much as i can except for the times when i'm really lazy or just learning algorithms or something like that but i'm not exactly what you would call fast at using this timer so i'm actually pretty slow even so what I will do as well is go over all the algorithms I know, which should be more than 120 after I know EG2, and trying to stack met them all as fast as I can. This way I will practice using the stack met timer, but I will also be able to spot some bad executions or bad algorithms and fix those. So if you're interested to know the Alex I use, plus how fast I can stack met them, I will share them with you next episode so you can give me some feedback. So yeah, that's about everything I had to say. Uh, a lot of talking. Yeah. Anyways, I'm really curious to see what your guys will be working on next few weeks. Uh, next week, I will talk about how all this practicing has gone. And hopefully the coronavirus has died down a bit by then. So I can point to the next competition where I will break the national record. I promise you, I will smash it. I will just... No, hopefully I will be able to break it. Also, we're really, really close to hitting 1000 subscribers. So already thank you for that. I will definitely do a video about that soon share this channel with all your friends and we will get there really really soon anyways let's end this video again with a ciao ciao bro where does all this toilet paper come from <laughs>